In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray for our brothers and sisters who are asking to join us at Easter. You have called them and brought them to this moment. Grant them light and strength to follow Christ with resolute hearts and to profess the faith of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people saying, the priest shall receive the basket from you and shall set it in front of the altar of the Lord your God. Then you shall declare before the Lord your God, my father was a wandering Ormian who went down to Egypt with a small household and lived there as an alien. But there he became a nation, great, strong, and numerous. When the Egyptians maltreated and oppressed us, imposing hard labor upon us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and he heard our cry, and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. He brought us out of Egypt, with his strong hand and outstretched arm, with terrifying power, with signs and wonders, and bringing us into this country. He gave us this land with milk and honey. Therefore, I have now brought you from the first fruits to the products of the soil, which you, O Lord, have given me. And having set them before the Lord your God, you shall bow down in his presence. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
What does the scripture say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is, the word of faith that we preach. For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with a heart and is so justified, and one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. For the scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and when they were over, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Then he took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a single instant. The devil said to him, I shall give you all this power and glory, for it has been handed over to me, and I may give it to whomever I wish. All this will be yours if you worship me. Jesus said to him in reply, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then he led him to Jerusalem, made him stand on the parapet of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, Throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him in reply, It also says, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from him for a time. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Is that a lectionary or a book of the Gospel? It is. Please be seated for a few moments. And good afternoon, everybody. And welcome to the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist. Buenos tardes a todos, bienvenidos a la Catedral de San Juan Evangelista. We celebrate this rite of election 
At this time of the year, every year, at the very beginning of the season of Lent, it has its roots all the way back at the very beginning of the church. When converts to the faith, those who were to be baptized and received into the church were presented before the local bishop of the church. St. John the Evangelist Cathedral is the mother church of our Diocese of Lafayette. And so I'm very, help, very happy to welcome all of you here this afternoon, all of you who are to be baptized at Easter time or make a profession of faith and received into the church. I'm also happy to welcome your sponsors and also those who are leaders in the rite of Christian initiation of adults. The period of Lent is a great period of preparation for those coming into the church as well as for those who are already Catholic, baptized, and confirmed. And it's set aside every year by the church to invite us to always keep before our eyes the goal of each and every Christian. That is, to follow Christ through this life, to imitate him in our daily lives, even to suffer and die as he did, so that we also share in his resurrection and victory over our ancient enemy of death. And so we have the gospel at the very beginning of Lent of Jesus going into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, just as we observe the 40 days of the season of Lent. The Gospels tell us that Jesus went into the desert. There he fasted, he did penance, and was tempted by the devil, and that he also prayed, so that he prepared for the great mission that the Father had sent him into the world to accomplish, the redemption of the world, the forgiveness of all sin of all times, and the gaining of everlasting life for all of his followers. Jesus was also tempted in the desert, just as we are tempted by Satan to turn away from God in our daily lives. And he gives us those important guideposts of how to resist temptation. That we do not live on bread alone. Ordinary bread doesn't last. Ordinary bread doesn't give us life that lasts forever. He taught us by his rejection of Satan's temptation to worship God as the one true God. Him alone shall you worship, said Jesus to the temptation of Satan. And so it presents us with a guidepost in our daily living to follow the example of Jesus, to pray in our lives as he prayed. And so during the season of Lent, we're encouraged to increase our prayer life if maybe we've let it go by the wayside during the past year. Jesus prayed often. He prayed in the desert, as we heard in the Gospel that was just read. The Gospels also tell us many times that before any great event in his life, he went off by himself and prayed, communed with the Father in heaven in preparation for whatever difficulty or trial would come his way. Setting the example for us of how we need to pray, to keep our eyes focused, to keep our hearts where it truly belongs, and to always have the end goal of our lives before us, even in challenging and difficult times. Jesus fasted for 40 days. We take on works of penance during the season of Lent. Many times we give up things in our lives as the church asks us to examine ourselves 
and remind ourselves we do not live by material things only, but on the word that comes from God. Sometimes people give up ice cream, give up all kinds of things that they think they really have to have in their lives. And I often tell people at the beginning of Lent that there are many ways that we can fast other than giving up food or drink in our lives. If giving up ice cream and candy makes you so grouchy no one can live with you, well that defeats the purpose of fasting. It doesn't increase our spiritual lives at all. But we can give up things that distract us from God. We can give up, for instance, television, maybe turning off the TV set a little more often to free us up to spend time with our family or to visit someone who is sick to try and comfort them and cheer them up. We could give up the use of social media or not using it as much to give us time to talk to our children, to pray with our children and teach them their prayers, or to talk about even the season of Lent and its importance. Many other things we can give up. As a minimum during the season of Lent, the church urges us to meatless Fridays, not eating meat on Fridays. Now we all know in South Louisiana, seafood is not a big penance for us to do. We have some of the best in the world. So we can look for other ways to deprive ourselves of those things that maybe have a little too much control over our lives and to give our free wills a little bit of exercise so that we can say no to those things that aren't sinful so that we are more ready to say no to those things that would drive us away from God. The season of Lent also calls us to imitate Jesus in charity works, in almsgiving, imitating him who gave completely of himself out of love for us and for our redemption. To look for ways that we can take of ourselves as Jesus did and give to those who are in need whether it be donating to a food pantry, a clothes closet, helping someone in financial straits, even showing charity to our neighbor and forgiving wrongs that our neighbor may have done to us, just as Jesus forgives us of our daily faults and failings all the time. Those are all ways of imitating the Lord. And so this is a holy season, a season in which we practice imitating Jesus so that we will also imitate him at Easter time in resurrection to everlasting life. That will be signified by your baptism at Easter time and also your profession of faith as you enter into the mystery of Christ's body, the church. I want all of you to know that the whole diocese of Lafayette has you and your intentions in our prayers, that this be for you a holy and fulfilling time of preparation. God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Would those whose names were enrolled in the book of the elect be presented? From the parish of St. Mary Magdalene, I present these catechumens. Caitlin Broussard. Rick C. Broussard. Hi, Rick. Congratulations. Cindy Touche. Hi, Cindy. Congratulations. Rusty Gaspar. Hi, Rusty. Junior. Good to see you. <laughs> Stephanie Lede. Hi, Stephanie. Congratulations. Okay. Brian Gwynn. Hey, Brian. Good to see you. Okay. And I present these candidates. Derek Callahan. Hi, Derek. Congratulations. Caleb LeBlanc. Hi, Caleb. de la parroquia de Santa Teresita del Niño Jesús en Avivir. Tengo la dicha de presentar estos dos catecúmenos, Nala Lucía Liparoli, Gibran Liparoli, From the parish of St. Bernard in Brobridge, I present to you this candidate, Madeline McLaren. From the parish of Immaculate Heart of Mary in Lafayette, I present these candidates, Khalif Newton. Kylie Savoy, Antoinette Satigue, Marcus Gardner, From the parish of Sacred Heart of Jesus in Broussard, I present these catechumens, Cheyenne Forbes, and congratulations to you. Welcome. Robert Suggs, Robert, welcome. Congratulations. and I present these candidates, Kylie Hebert, Kylie, welcome. Congratulations. Michelle Hebert, Hi, Michelle. Congratulations. Good to see you. James Kennedy, Hi, James. God bless. Welcome. Bobby Lecoq, Congratulations, welcome. Good. Tanya Spencer. Tanya, congratulations. Good. Trey Smith. Trey, congratulations, welcome. <clears throat> From the parish of our Mother of Mercy, Church Point, I present this catechumen, Katinya King. Congratulations and welcome. She 
going to say your From name. the parish of St. Teresa of Avila, of Crowley, Louisiana, I present these catechumens, Aviana Freddy. Aviana, congratulations to you. Welcome. Braden George. Braden, congratulations to you and welcome. Dalen George. Dalen, congratulations, welcome. Okay. And this candidate, Audrey Domino. Audrey, congratulations to you and welcome. From the Parish of Our Lady of Wisdom Church and Catholic Student Center, I present these catechumens, Tam Tran. Pam, congratulations and welcome. And Ava Lampkin. Ava, congratulations and welcome, Ava. And these candidates, Michelle Delcom. Hi, Michelle, welcome, congratulations. Jalen Hart. Ava, congratulations, welcome. Bishop Desertel from the parish of St. Edmund in Lafayette, I present to you this catechumen, Hayden Duong. Hayden, congratulations and welcome to you. Okay. I would also present to you these candidates, Jeff Tronhon. Jeff, congratulations, welcome to you. Good. Crystal Tozin LeBlanc. Hi, Crystal. Welcome, congratulations. And Jennifer Ripley. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome, congratulations. Good. Hey, Barney. Bishop, from the parish of St. Jules, English-speaking community in Lafayette, I present this catechumen, Ileana Krastrahan. Ileana, congratulations, welcome. And I present these candidates, Andrea, Annie Nicole Smith. Andrea, congratulations, and welcome. Luis Martinez Monroy. Luis, congratulations, and welcome. From the parish of St. Mary, Mother of the Church in Lafayette, I present this catechumen, Alexis Gibbons. Hi. Hi, Alexis. Congratulations. Welcome. When's your baby due? Oh, it's coming up soon. <laughs> and I present these candidates, Stephanie Stilkey. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome. And Crystal Russo. Crystal, congratulations and welcome here. Señor Obispo de la Parroquia de San Jules, le presento a los siguientes catecúmenos. Heidi Martínez. Mucho gusto. Giancarla García. Mucho gusto. Herbert Solís. Mucho gusto. Brenda Arellana. Mucho gusto, señora. Katie Medina. Katie, mucho gusto. Y a los candidatos, Saí López. Mucho gusto. Jessie Carolina Suesa. Mucho gusto. Bienvenidos. Lisbeth Montiel. Mucho gusto. Bienvenidos. Gabriela Martínez. Gabriela, mucho gusto. Juan Francisco Alfaro. Juan Francisco, mucho gusto.
Bishop Desitel, from the parishes of Holy Family Lawtel and St. Anne in Mallette, I present to you our catechumen, London Cravens. London, congratulations and welcome. Okay, good to see you. Bishop Desitel, from the parish of Iberia, St. Albert's Church, I present our candidate, Ms. April Toussaint. April, congratulations and welcome. Good to see you. From the parish of St. Peter's in New Iberia, I present the following catechumen, Kaylee Renee Vaynorn. Hi Kaylee, welcome and congratulations to you. Bishop Desitel, from the parish of the Cathedral of St. John the Evangelist, I present to you the following catechumens. Samantha Lim. Hi, Samantha. Congratulations. Welcome. Thomas Boyles. Thomas, congratulations. Welcome. Micah Giat. Congratulations. Welcome. And I present to you the following candidates. Christian Landry. Christian, congratulations. Welcome. Carrie Hotard. Carrie, congratulations. Welcome. Ruthie Armstrong. Congratulations, welcome. And Ivan Cortez. Congratulations, welcome to you. God bless. Bishop Desitel. From the parish of Our Lady Queen of Angels in Opelousas, I present these catechumen. Mm -hmm. John Thomason. John, congratulations, welcome. Good to see you. Alyssa Thomason. Congratulations, welcome. Hunter Thomason. Cronin, congratulations, welcome. <laughs> Levi Thomason. Hey, congratulations, welcome. And Lisa Thomason. Congratulations, welcome. Good. And I present these candidates. Allie Correll. Allie, congratulations and welcome. Cody Fontenot. Cody, welcome, congratulations. Brooks Lacombe. Hi Brooks, congratulations, welcome. Kayla Laverne. Kayla, congratulations and welcome. Michelle Laverne. Hi Michelle, welcome. How old is he? Three months. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Margie Robain. Margie, congratulations, welcome. Ryan Woodson. Ryan, congratulations and welcome. From the parish of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart in Church Point, I present these catechumens. Bria Bellard. Congratulations and welcome. Tanner Fontenot. Tanner, welcome. Congratulations. Dax Moore. At, congratulations and welcome. Okay. 
Let me. Dear friends, these catechumens and candidates have asked to be initiated and received into the sacramental life of the Church this Easter. During the period of their preparation, they have listened to the word of Christ and endeavored to follow his commands. They have shared in the company of their Christian brothers and sisters and joined with them in prayer. These candidates, our brothers and sisters, have asked to be able to participate fully in the sacramental life of the Catholic Church. During the period of their preparation, they have reflected on the mystery of their baptism and have come to appreciate more deeply the presence of Christ in their lives. They have shared the company of their brothers and sisters, joined with them in prayer, and endeavored to follow Christ's commands more perfectly. Would the godparents and sponsors please stand? I ask now, can those who are sponsoring these catechumens and candidates who have, pre who have been presented attest to their worthiness and sincerity? Dear catechumens, I now declare you to be members of the elect and to those others seeking full admission into the church, the church recognizes your desire to be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit and to have a place at Christ's Eucharistic table. Join with us this Lent in a spirit of repentance, hear the Lord's call to conversion and be faithful to your baptismal covenant. Thanks be to God. Please stand. My brothers and sisters, in beginning this period of Lent, we look forward to celebrating at Easter the life-giving mysteries of our Lord's suffering, death, and resurrection. These elect and candidates whom we bring with us to the Easter sacraments will look to us for an example of Christian renewal. Let us pray to the Lord for them and for ourselves, that we may be renewed by one another's efforts and together come to share the joys of Easter. Please respond to each of the following petitions. Lord, hear our prayer. That these elect and candidates may find joy in daily prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That they may read your word and joyfully dwell on it in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That they may humbly acknowledge their faults and work wholeheartedly to correct them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That they may dedicate their daily work as a pleasing offering to you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will protect and bless their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That they may share with others the joy they have found in their faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you created the human race 
and are the author of its renewal. Bless all your adopted children and add these chosen ones to the harvest of your new covenant. As true children of the promise, may they rejoice in eternal life, won not by the power of nature, but through the mystery of your grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. You have been elected and chosen by God and have entered with us on the journey to Easter. May Jesus himself be your way, your truth, and your life, especially during the approaching scrutinies for the catechumens. For the present, may God continue to lead you and bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, and may the Lord remain with you always. Amen. 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 Take a group photograph with Bishop Desitel, and we've all taken the school pictures. So the tall folks in the back, short in the front, it's going to be a tight squeeze. 